For vacuum discharge experiments, you sometimes need a high voltage source. A such source can easily be built in form of an induction coil, as you can see here. Even though it gives very strange AC pulses, which you usually try to avoid, it's very good at powering discharge tubes. And you can kind of see this as a current source that rises its voltage until a current flows. On one hand, that allows you to reliably reach the triggering voltage of the tube or spark gap, but on the other hand, you have to prevent it from being without a load. Running it without a load or having a spark gap that is too far away can lead to an internal arcing and destroy your coil. And the spark gap distance gives you a feeling of the voltage you can reach. Uh, of course, it's not very accurate and you will probably have earlier arcs if the tip is positive. Anyway, let's arc a bit around. And now I will show you the circuit and what voltage and the current looks like, so I will have to take my oscilloscope and measure the voltage. No, 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 it's such a high voltage that I can't use my oscilloscope directly for this. And the voltage divider that is suitable for this voltage would consume too much time to build. And the easiest solution seemed to me was using a 2 to 1 ratio transformer instead. Alright, you probably wonder now what the circuit looks like. Well, here it is. The circuit is similar to one of a spark gap tester coil. We have a source here to the left that charges the capacitor through the coil. And while it charges, the voltage at the capacitor rises, which is also almost the same voltage as the spark gap. And when you reach the triggering voltage of the spark gap, the capacitor discharges through the coil and the spark gap. And the capacitor and the coil form an LC circuit. This causes oscillations and these oscillations cause a voltage induced in the secondary. Okay, back to the real circuit. And when I turn on my voltage source, we have about 10 Hz of pulses and each clicking sound of the spark gap is one short AC pulse. And if we zoom in a bit, we can see the oscillations of the primary current in yellow, 1 volt represents 1 amp, and the secondary voltage in blue. One period needs about 6 microseconds, so the frequency of the LC circuit is about 170 kHz. And here you can see the voltage on the capacitor charging and discharging and also reversing the polarity in the moment of the pulse. And in addition to that you can see a remaining voltage and because of this you should always make sure to discharge your capacitor afterwards. Other parts I used for this were a CCFL inverter, high voltage fast diodes, a search arrestor, foil caps, and ignition coils. One of the last things I want to show you is the slow motion build up of the arc. Notice how not every streamer reaches the other electrode. A long exposure picture of the arcs. A short one of my iron tube. And an idiot. <laughs> 